Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Tarot 1122. Alright, so let's see what we got going on for Pisces. Pisces, what's happening? What's the vibe, people? I hope everybody is doing well. Let's see what's going on for you. Keep in mind that these are general messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone. Take what fits and leave the rest. Alright, let's see. All right, only others can victimize you if you allow it. You have choices and can take your power back. This situation is unhealthy. And although you don't see it, there's a divine plan at work. All right, let's see what's going on with the people that you are dealing with. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, look in the description box for the link to my website. All right, let's see what's going on for Pisces. All right, let's see. All right, Pisces, they will be back. Give it time. <laughs> All right, someone is uh, still trying to figure themselves out sexually. All right, and then we do have communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Maybe that's what someone wants with you. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put that back and let's see what else comes out because I like flyers instead of flippers. All right, you and your person could be physically or emotionally distant or both. And give me messages. Yes was on the bottom of the deck. Give it time. Mercury retrograde is coming up, so this person may pop up. All right, and someone may be dealing with gambling addictions or other kind of uh, situations here. Could have financial issues here as well. All right, whatever it is, source is telling you that this is a unhealthy situation. You might want to think about your association with this person. All right, so there's that. Let's see. All right, give me messages. And keep in mind that, you know, we are responsible for the doors that we open in our lives. Uh, sometimes people come in under, you know, false identities and things like that, false personas, and you find out later on that this person is not who they portrayed themselves to be. But it's up to you to keep that person in your life at that point in time or exit stage left. How about that? All right, give me messages for Pisces. All right, this... Uh, connection could be about lust here. Alright, so there's that. Uh, you might discover that that's all this person wants or that's all they offer. Or maybe your attraction to this person is this. Uh, just a lustful connection here, okay? That Jezebel spirit. Alright, but here we go here. Alright, some of you, this could be a boss or someone here that is uh, a bit controlling here. For some of you, this might be an older person here as well. All right, somebody's birthday could be an 88 or a 69. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to leave that alone. Either way, this person is going to come back. You might already feel this uh, in your, you know, inner being. There's that. Let's see. This might be someone here that does not like to, you know, relinquish control or someone that doesn't give up that easily. This person might be uh, holding some type of resentment, animosity or something like that. Or they may be concerned that maybe you are. Someone here could have found out that this person is uh, hiding something here, possibly about their sexuality. You could have found out about this or someone could have and may have ended this situation. I don't know. That may be for someone here. But whatever it is, look like you've done a cold, hard cut off with this person. Uh, you've awakened to some type of communication or some type of realization about this person. What did what did you realize about this person? Why the cut off? 
or this is happening soon or somebody is concerned that uh, you may find out about something. This may be a karmic feminine here, a karmic feminine energy, and this person may wreak havoc in your life. All right, so let's see. We got blocked in reverse, karma, and twin flame. All right, so someone may be feeling that this person is a twin flame, so therefore, uh, regardless of the havoc that someone is wreaking in someone's life, someone has not put an end to this situation. However, I think someone is going to come to the realization that this is actually a karmic. All right. Uh, God, let's see. Any messages for Pisces? All right. Ooh. Okay. Pisces, I don't know, but you better be careful about allowing somebody into your personal business and things like that. Somebody could have falsified some documents or signed something with your name on it. And someone here may be worried about this get, uh, coming out. Maybe this did come out. Maybe you cut this person off because of this. I don't know. This could have been uh, someone that abused your trust here. And you could have ended up or could end up in court behind this situation. All right, so, oh my gosh, okay. So, yeah, you need to be mindful of this person. For some of you, for some of you, this could be someone in the LBGTQ community. Also, this person has a lot of negative people attached to them, too. Oh my God. Not only that, someone here could have a lot of vices here. Ooh. Okay, so we have community here, right? But on the bottom of the deck, we have entity attachment. This person could have a lot of, lot of things attached to them, you know, spiritually. Also, a lot of, you know, this person could have a lot of bodies on them too. Body count, high, high, high. This person could also be in the divination here. Look at this. Even though you're not, you may not be in the contact with this person, you may actually uh, feel their energy. This is somebody that is immature. This is somebody that's possibly doing spell work here, too. All right, give me messages, please, and thank you. Manifestation work. Look. Mm hmm Death magic. Look at this. Someone is trying to stop something you got going on or block it. Especially if you're with someone else here. You might be noticing this here, too. Give me messages. We got priests here. All right, and like I said, a karmic feminine. All right, so some of you could have gone to the clergy or something like that, a uh, man or woman of the cloth, to, to get some information about this person. And they may have told you that, man, you got a demonic spirit that has attached itself to you through lust, which is Jezebel, a whole bunch of other stuff here too. But if that is what appeals to you, you need to reassess the situation. What is really attracting you to this person outside of the bedroom? You know, because that person could do those things that you like, but you might not actually like this person as a person, you know? So there's that. Anything else? Jezebel, what did I say? Mm hmm. There's that. Jezebel, there she is. All right, so somebody here. We have two opposite, polar opposites, okay? We have somebody in the north node and someone working in the south node here. So, like I said, it looks like somebody's coming to the realization that this is what they have in their life they're dealing with. And Source is actually bringing this about for a reason. So, although you don't see it, there's a divine plan at work. All right, only, others can only victimize you if you allow it. You have choices and can take your power back. You see what it is, so back off of it. It is what it is. All right, you know the truth, so it's time to protect yourself. Guard your heart. Guard your pockets, baby. All right, there's that. Somebody saw bliss, happiness with this person, and I get it. 
but sometimes that ten of ten of cups comes within self. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, this person brings all kind of stuff. And you may have gone through this before, either with this person or someone like this in the past. So this is a rewind. All right, so what's the Ace of Swords? Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's time to block that energy. Kick it out to the curb, all right? Absolutely, I cannot make it up. So you can keep your own peace, all right? Especially if this is somebody in your house. Oh, my God. I can only imagine the calamities that's going on with your finances and all this kind of stuff. So, somebody's energy is not cool at all. Whoever this is might come in with some type of apology to try to get back into your good graces here. Whoever this is know, knows that uh, you know what they're doing. They broke your heart here. There could have been somebody else here involved here too. But, I don't know, baby. Somebody's just biding their time too. Definitely on a break here. There's no communication. This is a stalemate because you already know who you're working with. All right. And be mindful. Somebody might try to come in and emotionally manipulate you here. Get you back in, you know, get back into your good graces. All right. So we are responsible, of, you know, when we open the door, we're responsible how long people stay. So, there's that. But anyway, uh, looks like you got a situation you need to deal with here. Looks like your eyes are already open, and this is just your confirmation, okay? All right, my love, this is what I got for y'all. I'll holler at y'all next time. Bye.